okay now you might feel that uh, the concepts are disconnected okay right now but actually there is continuity okay so uh, just hold on so this is only the first lecture so just hold on but as we go in you will feel you will understand the connectivity between these stuff okay so so far we have discussed two things one is a simple a verbal uh, discussion on what quality is about so we introduced taguchi and then we said how taguchi said there are three things that come into picture the user the customer as uh, sorry the customer the manufacturer and the society and then we talked the second concept that we talked about was robustness so in robustness what it says is irrespective of the variations in the input my output variation should be minimal or it should be within the specifications that i state and then we used a simple example to drive that uh, uh, concept home so before we wrap up for today we will discuss one more concept called the six sigma okay so off late you can um, you know see these some courses called uh, six sigma black belt certification courses okay and uh, there are many companies you can see there are this uh, six sigma trainers okay six sigma leadership uh, things and then they even wear uh, badges on that okay so this is a, a, a you know a heavily followed and it's a, what do you call like a, a very important um, topic uh, for the companies which manufacture and today it's not only in manufacturing it is there in everything it has become process product engineering in everything it has come okay so it is important and it is uh, directly related to what we are talking about okay uh, so in the beginning of the class i asked what sigma is and someone replied so can i ask someone else can does someone else remember what that sigma is i asked what sigma is and someone answered standard deviation right so if we go back to this problem here okay did i use the word fat and thin distributions that is described by your standard deviation okay predominantly these hold good for distributions that look like this what are these types of distributions called these are probability distributions pdf probability density functions what type of distributions these are these are called the normal distribution or the gaussian distributions okay hat shaped distribution it is like a hat that you wear like a mexican hat that you wear okay hat shaped distribution there are some interesting properties of these guys this distribution per se okay it's a symmetric distribution you just need to i'm unable to draw a straight line it should have been on the right side a little bit it's a symmetric distribution okay it's very interesting to have this distribution okay there are also other types of distributions for instance you no know, left skewed distributions you can have right skewed distributions you can have uniform distribution you can have triangular distribution and i can keep on doing this for another 60 minutes okay there are so many distributions are there okay but if you see in the manufacturing process industry or most of the product design and all that we always talk about this shape only okay that is the beauty of the gaussian distribution okay or the normal distribution if we plot the height of the people in this class okay and n tending to infinity tending to infinity it need not go to infinity with 60 about 150 people we will more or less get a distribution like this that's the beauty of normal distribution okay many of the real life process follow a gaussian distribution yes there are there are always exceptions okay as a matter of fact we work on research areas where they are they don't follow a normal distribution gaussian distribution okay so the gaussian distribution uh, this particular uh, course we will discuss only the gaussian distribution okay and you can take it from me about uh, most of the real life uh, problems that we will discuss will follow a gaussian distribution 
So, yeah, the reason that I went back to that is given a Gaussian distribution, there are two parameters that I can use to describe a Gaussian distribution, right. So, if I ask someone comes to my office and you know like I come at like 11 o'clock and then my student next door says, sir there was a student who came to meet you. Then I say, do you know who it is? He says, I do not know. So, then I ask, can you describe? So, the person goes ahead and says, okay. So, the tall person was wearing specs, okay. He was a stout student. He was looking athletic. It was a male, it was a female, he had a beard. So, these are all representations, right. So, characterizing. So, this student is trying to characterize the person who came to meet me so that I can identify, okay. Now, let us say that I have scheduled meetings that morning with two people or I have asked two people to come. Then I know whom he is talking about because he has given me the characteristic. Oh, I know, okay, it is not the second guy, it is the first guy that I asked to come, right. So, in a similar fashion, a normal distribution is a symmetric distribution. It is around its mean is what there are two parameters that is described that is used to describe. One is your mean and the other one is its standard deviation. That is all you need, okay. For other distribution, for instance, this is predominantly called a log normal distribution. There are other quantities called skewness and kurtosis. Skewness says how much it is skewed in one particular way and kurtosis is a fourth order moment, okay. So, whereas for a Gaussian distribution, you need only a uh, average which is called the expected value or mean these are the different words that are used, okay. And then there is a standard deviation which is represented by the uh, notation called sigma. So, there are two terms that I would require. One is the mean which is usually represented with uh, mu and then there is a standard deviation which is usually represented with sigma. And this is the notation that we will use that we will use for the rest of the course. Now, as I pointed out, this sigma that we are talking about hmm, is the standard deviation, right. So, uh, does anyone know what six sigma stands for? Okay. So, there is a small digression we will have, we, we are there, with this I will wrap up, okay. There is a small digression, but what do you think is the use of these kind of plots. What do you think is the use of these kind of plots? Why do you need a PDF for probability function? What can you find out of this? Variation, you just need data, you do not need these plots. Uh, that is a very generic statement. You can model the answer and use one thing. Yeah. So, there is a very interesting perspective on what these plots will enable you to do, okay. I am sure that you have done this in your 10th, 11th or 12th grade, okay. I will write something and tell me whether you recognize that. Have you done something like this? Okay. What this one reads is probability of x, in this case the tile dimension would be x let us say, is going to be less than or equal to 5. So, you are trying to predict this plot gives you the capability to predict some stuff. Okay. So, this becomes very important. Okay. If I have this plot for the tile example, if I am going to randomly draw the next tile, I can tell what is the probability that that random tile will be less than or equal to 1 square foot or greater than or equal to 1 square foot. That is very important. This probability is nothing but the ratio. What is this x number of times? 
this hash means number of times. Number of times x is less than or equal to 5 divided by the total. That is what is this probability? It is just a ratio. So, this plot lets you do that. So, let me just modify this a little bit. So, let us say that this was 5. This some other example, do not worry, this is not a tile dimension, okay. This is not a tile dimension. This is some variable x, okay. This is 7, this is 9. So, this one tells me if I if I am drawing in a random fashion, what is the probability that this x is going to be less than 5? I need to understand the area under the curve. And if you remember, we would have given you a chart that would have used this drawing at the top and then it would have given you a table in the x and y and then you will have to go and find that one. Okay. Now, the question here is this was for a tile dimension example. You can go and do something at the strain gauge which is at the level of microns. I can measure the height of you people which are on meters. I can measure the weight of you which are in kilograms or pounds. I can do some force measurement which is in Newton and these are all could be in different units and different numbers, but I still need only one chart, the chart that we gave you in the 10th or the 12th grade to find out what the probability is. How is that possible? You understand the question? I can start from 1 e power minus 6 and I can go to 1 e power 6 at the entire bandwidth. I have given you examples for all. Okay. And I, I for each of them I have a different problem. I am asking probability of x less than 5 e power minus 5, probability of x less than 100, probability of x being greater than uh, 250,000. So, my requirements are different for each of these problems, but still I can answer all of them using just that one chart. So, it is one size fits all kind of a problem. One chart will answer all the problems provided it is a normal distribution. Okay. So, that is called a standardized normal distribution, which means the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. Okay. So, any problem meaning any data that you gather can be brought to this level. How? I can use a simple stuff called x i minus mu over sigma. Okay. So, now imagine that I took the scenario an of height. I took the height of the people in this room. Okay. 6.26, 6.1, 5.8, 5.9, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.
and then mean divided by the standard deviation which is what is the range. So, you will have a range of 1. So, it is a normalization. Okay. So, the data is with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. Okay. So, any data can be made into a standard distribution. Then you can use that chart to find out. Then what you just need to do is, is go back and whatever value you get you just need to multiply. This is usually called z i. So, what you have to do is, is after you find the z i you just need to do z i times sigma plus mu. This will take you to the original this will this will take you to the this will take you to the original original space that we are talking about okay this will be your x i okay okay so we are talking about that sigma is what we are talking about and when i said sigma is 1 what six sigma says is you can go 6 standard deviation meaning 6 units in the distribution that is what it talks about. Okay. So, uh, it basically says plus or minus 6 sigma. Okay. So, this is one clarification that you might want to make sure that you take away from this uh, class is it is not plus or minus 3 sigma. Okay. 6 sigma means it is plus or minus 6 sigma on each side it is 6 sigma. Okay. In total it is 12 sigma. It is not 3 sigma this side, 3 sigma this side. So, it is 6 sigma no. Okay. And as I pointed out in the beginning of the class, what does it actually mean? It means 3.4 parts per million. What does that mean? If you are going to manufacture 1 million washers or any product, since washer is the standard example that we are using, about 3.4 of them can fail or it is allowed to fail. That is the level of quality. Okay. So, we will come back to this what why what is this 4.5 sigma in the next lecture probably we will talk about it because we are already running out of time. So, I will just finish with what what how do we look at this. Okay. So, what does this 3.4 parts per million mean? meaning what is the meaning not the mean standard deviation mean what is the meaning of that. Okay? So, this is the normal distribution that we are talking about. This is a nominal which means the mean the expected value the average value that we are talking about and it is going to vary. Okay? You see this plus or minus 3 sigma it means 1350 parts per million can fail. Where is the failure? The failure is here. You see this area? This is a failure. The area under this region is what the failure is. Okay. So, if I counted this area, if there is a way in which I can count the number of parts, they will tally up to 1350 parts per million, both sides. Okay. What Six Sigma says is, in a similar fashion, if you are going to go to plus or minus 6 sigma, the number of parts that will fail for you is going to be 3.4 parts that is all can fail. You understand? So, you see the region, right? So, if I were to, you see this region, that small region here, it is not even that much, yeah. The one that I have circled is the region that corresponds to 6 sigma, whereas this region the green region that I have marked I mean within the green you should see the red one that corresponds to the failure. So, what this means is for the washer example this nominal is 5 mm okay. and let us say the allowable is 4.8, it should be less than that. Um, dia. This is the allowable. Okay. So, what it means is if it is 3 sigma, then I would put the 4.8 here and the 5.2 here. 
okay then it will about 1350 parts can fail this side plus this side both the sides together okay now tell me if i fix this okay because this figure is not like that this usl lsl means lower specification limit and upper specification limit okay so this is what is a lower specification limit and this is the upper specification limit okay now if i take this to be the lower and the upper specification limit how can i make this six sigma you understand the question how can i make this six sigma meaning i should make this region smaller how can i make that you get the question since i have drawn everything we will wrap up with that question you get the question or you want me to repeat it you get the question how can i do that just uh, from the figure only you can tell how can i get it it's the same as your uh, the tile example the kiln example i want to reduce this area how can i do that in this one if i put my failure to be here okay you can see the amount of failure with the initial distribution correct and you can see the amount of failure with respect to the new distribution correct how would i achieve that by what would i do in terms of the graph in terms of the plot sorry you know in terms of the graph what i have done what have i done okay fine you improve the distribution but what has happened in terms ah you have you have shrunk this particular distribution what does shrunk mean here what is the meaning of shrunk in this case it the meaning is because it's a normal distribution there are only two parameters one is the mean and the other one is the but the mean is the same the mean is the same the mean has not changed between this distribution and this distribution what has changed the standard deviation has changed which means i have come from a fatter distribution to a thinner distribution hence i have been able to reduce the number of failures from the green region to the yellow region do you understand that point in a similar fashion if i want to reduce this green region to this region meaning don't worry about the location only worry about the quantity okay so if i want to bring this region you know this much i can only fail this much not the red region then what i can need to do is, is i need to i need to change the standard deviation i need to minimize the standard deviation such that this will become like it's already gaussian it's still a gaussian but i just need to maintain the same mean but minimize my standard deviation so that my failure is very less that's the underlying numerical idea behind robustness ha huh. so see this plot it's a interesting question so this is a mean of equal to 0 okay and then a standard deviation of 1 a standard deviation of 2 a standard deviation of 3 standard deviation of 4 4 units standard deviation of 5 standard deviation of 6 6 units so this is easier with a unit standard deviation otherwise if i take the height of u we figured out that the standard deviation was 0.2 then i have to go 0.2 0.4 0.6 0.8 point for some other thing it will be a unit of 10 meters 10 meters 20 meters 30 meters 40 meters you don't have to worry you don't have to go and do different you normalize the data you use the same chart it's simple so 6 sigma only tells you how far you can go from the mean okay and it should be at the lower and the 
higher specification limit because anything beyond that is your failure. Okay, anything, anything beyond this LSL and USL is failure for me. So, this is a spread that I can have. Beyond that, it's failure. So, if that failure, the number of failures is not okay to me, then I need to make my distribution thinner so that the failure gets reduced. Okay. Fine. Anything else? No. It's simple. Just imagine uh, you are spreading your legs. Okay. And then uh, there is an immediate shadow that is there. Okay. The amount of shadow is what the failure is. But if the shadow is deeper, the failure is more. I do not want to have that. How can you reduce your shadow by coming thinner and thinner, you know, by contracting your legs even further. So, finally, when you stand straight like this, you will not have any shadow on your side. Simple like that. Any other question? Okay. So, we will wrap up for today.